Hi and welcome to Volleyball One-on-One. -on -one. I'm Ando July, I'm the owner and founder. And today we're gonna to be talking about hitting with power and how to keep your shoulder healthy so you continue to do this. I'm the NCAA champion at UCLA and I've been invited to play for my country, South Africa, in both beach and, uh, both beach and indoor. So in order to understand hitting with power, you understand that it's really broken up into six components. And each one of these videos is gonna focus on one of these six components. The six components to hitting with power is initially form, speed, flexibility, power, health, and visualization. This is video one of six, and today we're gonna to focus on specifically good form. Now in order to understand spiking with power and hitting with power, you have to understand correct form. Uh, having observed volleyball for years and years, uh, I've, I've seen that um, the majority of people when they hit they don't have great form. Okay, so when hitting you want to understand that a spike is really broken up into four components. Okay, so the first component when spiking is about getting your arms back. Okay, so you know you go right left, so right, left. Okay, the biggest problem that I often see with position one spiking is that people go like this. Okay, and what that does is when you go forward and then back and then forward, okay, is that you slow your forward momentum down because you're going like this. So you want to make only one motion and backwards, okay, so it's on your right step and it's boom, okay. A few things to notice is notice how my wrists are turned back like this, okay, because what this does is it creates the optimum position for me to go forward. Okay, next is position two. Now, position two is about transferring forward momentum into vertical jumping momentum, okay? And position two is about going from here to here. Okay, a few things to notice in that. One is my wrist. My wrist didn't start here. My wrists were back, and they transferred up like this. So there's this motion to it. Also, your arms are key, okay? Um, Eric Fanoi Mohana, gold medalist 2000, he's incredible at this. What he is great at is really forcing his arms up to give him those extra three, four inches when he's jumping. Okay, so position two, boom, maximum high contact. Notice my arms are up, okay? From position two, it's about going into position three and getting ready to spike. Okay, so what is position three? Boom, okay? pulling the arm back. Now, what I often see with this is that most people, when spiking, they start and they pull their arm back with their elbow. Notice my hitting position, notice my hand, notice how I'm trying to hit. I have to make two motions in order to hit. The right way to do it is pull with your wrist. Notice my wrist is leading and I'm pulling here. Okay, why is this important? Because you're making this motion in the air. Okay, so you're jumping and in the air you got to get back and get ready to hit. Okay, and if you're pulling here, look at the distance it takes from my elbow to get to here to here. It's this long versus here to here. It's this long. So I pull up here. Another thing to notice is my wrist leads and my wrist goes straight back into hitting ready position. Also, my right arm is at a 90 degree angle, the optimum angle. One of the things I often see is people are spiking like this, people are spiking like this, 90 degrees, okay? So, one, two, three, wrist back, 90 degrees, arm ready, elbow high, okay? Number four is following through and contacting the spike, okay? So now I'm ready up, boom, left arm comes down to my chest, okay? One of the big things I see is that people pull their arm down to the ground, if I pull the down, arm down to the ground, look what happens to my contact point. My contact point, I want to pull into my chest, so I keep maximum height on my contact point. The goal when spiking is to contact the ball at your maximum trajectory. Okay, what I often see is people pull down here, and now they're hitting here. Okay, so chest, okay, now I create forward momentum and power. Now there's really three areas in order to do this. One is about side movement. Okay, I'm going to teach to you how to generate power in some of the other videos. So side movement, okay, then 
bringing your arm from here up to your shoulder. Now notice on contact, my head and arm are in a straight line. I've actually got my head next to my arm right up here. And then I follow through with the snap and arm comes down. Now what I'm going to be teaching you is how to generate so much power that you've got to be conscious of how this arm comes down. Okay? If you're bringing it down to the side and doing all kinds of things, yes, there's times to do this. But the majority of the time you're coming through and just cracking it. Arm ends here on your side. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Um, come back, check out our other video instructors at Volleyball One on One. We have the best players and coaches in the world, Olympians, AVP and FIVB winners, um, NCAA champions, NCAA MVPs, volleyball legends, and much, much more. Also, go to volleyballoneonone.com forward slash ondoor hitting to get the rest in this six series of videos. Hope you enjoy it.